Gotcha. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Inventory. Today, I'm joining you once again as your host in place of Johan because he's currently driving to California. If you've watched the older episodes, you will know who I am because I'm the original host of this podcast. But if you're joining us for the first time, then you probably don't care. Um, joining me is my old co-host back when I was the host, Spinanon. Hey, I, hey I, I've been holding down the fort this entire time. I, yeah, but not with <laughs> me as the host. That's, that's the part that's like a new thing now, but also an old thing. Because that's how time works. I just also, have, I, oh, I have nothing but free time to, to be on these podcasts. Yeah. It's good that we've had <laughs> one person stay consistent throughout the whole time, though. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the mascot now. Everyone loves me. It's been on. <laughs> Everyone does love you, Spanon. on. Next is... I'm, d- um, I'm, just, I'm just here so you can't shit talk me, because I'm always on every episode. Yeah. I mean, we can shit talk you to your face. Well, that's more fun. Yeah, that's true. Also joining us is um, two up and coming creators. We have Black Skull the Lude or Black Cody or I don't know what you go by. You can call me whatever you want, hon. Okay. And then we also have um, Ice. Hello. Thank you, Ice. Like like vanilla Ice. Ice Ice yeah, Baby. Yes, I'm 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 I usually go by a cube of Ice Ice Baby. So yes, pretty accurate. Yeah. And then also we have something fairly new for this podcast. We have someone who's completely disconnected from the, like, development process. Someone basically like an outsider perspective. We have my friend, Insightful Magician. Hello. Yeah, I'm not even part of any Discord, so, like, I don't think anyone's going to know who the fuck I am. So, hi. I mean, you're pretty insightful, so. He's also magic. He's also (laughs) magic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good investment. I think magic's coming back in a big way. So, yeah, yeah I'm jumping on that. Yeah. Also, in one time he told me a story, he was once referred to as a gay JRR token, I believe. That's a pretty- no, 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 no. Um, it was in high school. Um, we had a really long bus ride because I took a magnet program, which meant like I had a great program, but it was far away. So, because normally we just get lumped in whatever's closest. But so we had like an hour bus trip and we'd always just like talk random stuff with my friends and one time we were just randomly talking about what where we think we would end up in 20 years and one of them just assumed that i just end up as like a gay alan moore i would just grow out a huge beard and like hermit myself in the forest and like write like a large novel that would like scrutinize society or some shit and yeah, I I I mean I think it's a great thing. I think I'll either wind up as that or as like a gay John Mulaney. So isn't you know, that I just John Mulaney? Bad. That's like that's like that's my yeah. That's like my Paragon Renegade. You know. So yeah. I think you know you gotta aim high. So, but yeah, it's crazy. You remember that? I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of thought gay J.R.R. Tolkien because you're like really good at writing and. Well, also, my initials are J.R.R., so... Yeah, that's you know. probably where I got it from. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to the actual podcast. This is not The James Show. That's another podcast happening someday. Wait, this oh, podcast God. has, like, a topic? Yeah, it's it's about Spinati. Is- Crazy, right? This it's is a like surprise. Most podcasts I listen to are just bumbling on for an hour and a half, oh. and then it just ends. Yeah, this that's, is an improv podcast. This, this, this is, is just like the five random people talk for a while podcast. Yeah, but it's a yeah, vaguely it's about a porn game as well, so it's even better. So anyway, I think I'm going to start going in to our first topic. I have to check the thing. Okay. So yeah, we're going to talk about the characters currently on the testing table. I'm not sure if they've been discussed in the last episodes, but I wasn't there, so it doesn't count. So I'm going to do them all this time. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, one of the candy characters on the loading screen when it popped in was Jin, and the other one was uh, Vidal, so... I was not bad. happy to see that. Okay, anyway, to the actual fucking job. I do like that you guys, I do like that you guys chose Pigtail Vidal. That was a nice choice. Well, I mean, yeah. she is the best of Adele. Credit to that guy. Exactly. Yeah. So first, first <laughs> up on the list, Janetta the Innkeeper from Etrian Odyssey, made by Blue Coin and Door. What are your thoughts on her, guys? 
I think she's really cute. She's a cute little the cinnamon roll. Let's try the and talk one very at a time. Good and fun to play with. Let's talk one at a time, please. <laughs> would would protect. Oh, fuck. Okay, um, let's go clockwise. Wait. Clockwise. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm involved in her development process. I'm helping Dor because Dor doesn't have access to the character editor because she uses a shitty Chromebook. So I'm basically loading all of her stuff into the character editor for her and running bug testing. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so it's good to have friends if you're working on a character. Yeah. Yep. It is a lot of fun. Uh, Ice, what are your thoughts on Janetta? What was it? I I barely hear anything right now because my my Discord is deciding to cut people halfway through their sentence. Ice, what are your thoughts on Janetta? Ah, uh, honestly, it's a very fun character to play with. Not not anything that's like where it gets to the point of where they're annoying with how peppy they are, but it's a fun mixture to add to a game like Spinade, where it's just you're seeing people stripped down to the bears. It still keeps it kind of fun. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's not like so, Revy, who where she's holding the gun to your head, calling you her bitch while you get naked. Yeah, it's it's an it's a fun hey, little thing. Don't fucking kink shame, kink shame me. I heard that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I worked it, hard giving her all those intimidating lines. Yeah, I know it's paid off, but it's not your turn yet. Um, anyone else have anything they want to say about Janetta? Um, just um, the stuff, the model itself. Um, is really it looks really good. Uh, props to um. Blue coin, I think. Door, yeah. door made the model. Blue coin did the poses. Okay, well, both of them deserve the equal credit. Um, I haven't personally played with her on the testing table because the, the client, the current version I have, doesn't have her available. But when I do get a chance, I will. Sorry, I don't see what her dialogue don't is. Use, like, it's she's on the online Spinati. You don't have to use the offline. Well, that's good. Like, just um, go no to way. Spinati, or just Google Spinati, click the link, and there you it's, go. You have the most... It's literally, up- all the updates all the time are there. <laughs> there. Are you not aware of this? Um. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I actually think this, sir. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. Do you, you not see that, that big GitLab updates <laughs> channel that's, yeah, we- <laughs> that's in the, the Discord? Can we get a next Dean chat? <laughs> <laughs> see, you learn, see you learn stuff by coming on the podcast oh my God. I'm crying alright let's continue to the next one yeah, if, if, you, if you want the, the, the hot and fresh ready right out of the oven spinati just go right to spinati.net has all the, has all the updates right away yeah, I'm hot and fresh. I have it open right now because I'm looking through the testing table to talk about each character next up is well, not um, I- oh yeah Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 um, no, no, well, actually, continue. I just want to add on about um, uh, Janetta is uh, just that something that I noticed about the game that I really like is that it seems like uh, I really like the inter-character, I guess you could call them unique dialogues, just because even when they're not super specific, um, uh, especially with Janetta, it just seems like there's a lot of great chemistry between the characters, even when it seems very random. Um, it gets pretty yeah. gay pretty quick, and I appreciate that. <laughs> and I feel like Janetta is someone that's like kind of sheltered and like you said a cinnamon roll but at the same time it's like oh it's fine we're all both we're all girls just gals being pals you know if you want to see stuff get gay really quick play a table with marinette and gwen <laughs> that gets yeah, really I'm, gay <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know another uh, another great little count. another, another it's, great one uh, yeah, another great matchup uh, as a shout out is um, just as a side would be uh, Chiaki and Futaba go along really well, I'd say. Yeah. But two of my yeah, wives, unique yeah. dialogue is really good. Both so. video girls, both video mm-hmm. girls, both girls. I'd let sit on my face, and with Chiaki, <laughs> she actually video. does because she has the epilogue. <laughs> Not only do or do I love both of those characters, they both kink enable me in their epilogues. <laughs> but anyway, next we have slowly suffocating. Slowly suffocating is the best way to go out if it's between an anime girl's thighs. But anyway, next up we have Natsuki. I, I was thinking of having Revy do that, but she's just strangling you. Oh, <laughs> I mean Yuri will be into it. <laughs> but yeah, next is Natsuki. Are you who, not? You coward. 
I'm not <laughs> confirming or denying anything. Next is you Natsuki. Heavy with your life. Next is Natsuki, who was a collab between Hex Maniac, Namasp, and Underscore. Um, he was the thing keeping Three us. Three creators, from... zero tits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's she's my personal favorite girl from Doku Doki Literature Club. I'm no, sorry, I, just, I have a personal vendetta against Natsuki because she delayed Hex Maniac. <laughs> everything she has, no, she has no tits to make up for it. Everything is gonna is gonna delay Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac is never coming out. Hey, we have a countdown clock. He said Halloween. She's she's hitting testing. So it was Halloween like in twenty twenty five. Okay, anyway. I believe in it. I believe that Valerie will not be the Half-Life 3 of Spinani. She won't come out. <laughs> yeah, but so, Natsuki uh, is a really well-written character. I love the... Namaste underscore are great writers. They've brought us um, Futaba, Marinette, and Ninas from Namasp, just to, f- to name a few of his. And dude, underscore, what about say? I said just a say. few. Fuck say off. Say is the best Namasp girl. You have to include her. Absolutely incorrect. Moving on, and underscore brought us uh, <laughs> fucking my fav- one of my favorite, who's hopefully going to come back soon, Vriska. Oh, Vriska was fucking magical, literally. Yeah, yeah. Well, she died just like in Homestuck. Oh, f- spoilers! No big loss. I mean, technically, better. she also Almost didn't spoiler. die because she did come back, mm-hmm. and everyone's died, but yeah. also hasn't died in Homestuck. I haven't stuff. actually read Homestuck. I just saw one picture where she gets stabbed. I was like, okay, she's dead. Yeah. I literally have no idea what Homestuck is. Don't. That was literally the biggest mistake. You don't mistake. want to know. That was literally the biggest mistake in Homestuck, funnily enough. But anyways. Literally. All, all of Homestuck was a literally. mistake. <laughs> What's that? Anyway, it was the biggest mistake, actually. But that's a different debate. Anyway. A different podcast. Natsuki, she's a lot of fun to play. Um, I love how she's an mm-hmm. actual Sundere, unlike how most anime does Sundere. Yeah. I also, yeah. I also I love the line where if she finds out the player's a girl, she just kind of whispers to herself, am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, yeah, I never European. played the girl, so I never saw that. Yeah, she does um, a lot of internet speak, surprisingly. Yeah. It's a uh, thing. Also, her references to anime is she are cute. Is or European, is the question. She's Japanese, so I'm <laughs> guessing it's not the latter. <laughs> anyway, anyone else have anything they want to say about Natsuki? Her uh, mother is really interesting, to me at yeah. least. Well, I, I was going to say, I think it's funny that I, uh, something I realized is that technically, as far as I know, like the difficulty is decided by their number of clothing, just because it takes that longer to beat them, and... She has the most, so that technically makes her the hardest one out of all the testing table characters. Actually not, so, because we also have yeah. intelligence ratings for all of them as well. Oh, I so, never realized. Yeah. But yeah, I can never, I can never beat her in a game. Yeah, but... um, I'm pretty sure she's is she average all the way through, or... Yeah, I think she's just average. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, no way Namasp underscore or Hex would make a character eight layers of good. They're not monsters. Underscore what? Remember Callisto? I never got oh, yeah. her. I've never got her down to half. Oh, I beat her. Yeah, I, anyway. I remember bitching about her being eight layers of good, and then when I played her, she was the first to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is bringing back flashbacks to Daisy now. Daisy is seven layers of average. What the hell's wrong with you? Fuck off. <laughs> to give context, it took me three days of constant playing to finally beat Daisy. Do you did not he... know how poker works? I do. Like I think... just got did really think... unlucky. Oh, dude, too too high. <laughs> so I thought you were saying like Daisy, like the the video game, rather no. than the character for a second there. Yeah, yeah, it's no, okay. I Princess saying... Daisy doesn't have a character, so it's okay to forget her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well. fair point. She yeah. was never interesting to me. Like She's at like... any game. She's, like, weirdly they're tall like, in Spinetti. She's, like, as fairness, tall as Rosalina. <laughs> in all fairness, there are, like, five Mario characters that have character. Like, let's be honest I think, here. Is, I think there might be less than that. 
I mean, I don't know. Like, like oddly enough, like the goons, like the 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 minions, have a lot of character to them. Bowser like, has a personality. Bowser has personality. Bowser. Uh, overly Kong, muscular, overly detailed, muscular Bowser with a massive a cock for Spinati. When yeah. someone get Dranky on this, please. <sighs> I think we went a little bit of a tangent there. We did, but Donkey you know Kong what? Took all the charisma from the this Mario is, characters. Anyway, he's teaching James fun. about Spinati lore too. He's new. We're indicting him into Spinati. I've heard bits and pieces. It's kind of like Dark Souls yeah. lore. Are, 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 are we like lore. a jury? Are we I'm, a grand jury? We're indicting him. Yeah. Wait, are, I we also a, are we also taught... executioner? Uh, now, how, how much of power do I have? Because I've not been part of Spinati long. None. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't oh, actually yeah, right. please. Tangents sorry, are good. Yes. Otherwise, we're just we're just going through yeah. the motions. That's no fun. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so any fu- um final comments on Natsuki? I never personally hey. played Donkey Dog Country Club, so I don't know <laughs> how much your characters like. All I know is the memes. I've only played one hour of it because I'm a wuss, but I also I think she's also my favorite. And, I think Yuri was your favorite. Yeah, I don't I don't favorite. play dating Sims because I have good taste. Off of, off of first impressions. But yeah. So wait. No, I'm, you're saying yeah. that, but you've written for a strip poker game. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Fair enough. I mean, isn't Next, that just we a, have a novel mixed with a quick simulator. Natsuki does have like really impressive like marker usage, and like she's very aware of like the way the table's set up. Yeah. Like how many guys there are and stuff. Yeah. I mean. Underscore was like a fucking wizard with markers, especially with Riskas. I'm not surprised that Natsuki has a good amount of them as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a keep it simple kind of guy. Yeah, me too. So we clash a little target, bit. I just target butts with Jin and hands with Kira, and that's it. And I don't mean poker hands; I mean literal hands. Oh, that's he gets... true. He targets uh, Revy taking her gloves off, and he's not very impressed. Well, it's because he's like, on one hand, um, her hands are probably calloused and stuff because she's been in a lot of fights. She's probably beating people to death with her hands. And on the yeah. other hand, he's she's probably not worth trying to kill because she'd probably shoot him in the throat. I mean, she could squeeze his dick pretty hard if he's into that. <laughs> ah, hmm. He prefers the hand off the body. <laughs> I'm not sure Revy would go for that. I did. I, I did. Start, like I did write some responses buddy. to him. Where it's just like, "The fuck are you looking at, pretty boy?" <laughs> <laughs> it's only gonna get worse from there. It is. It's or better. Yeah. Next, we have Pira Nikos from Ruby. Um, she was written by BB and Neos, and the model was done by Chase and Neos as well. She's pretty I, fun. I'm just gonna come out and say, it. I never liked Pyra. Pira. Whatever. What, hey, what the hell did he say? I think he said Pyra. he doesn't like Pyra. Pyra, oh. Pyra, potato, potato. I've so, gotten far on Ruby, and I can kind of get that. I feel like yeah. he's like, she like okay. suffers from things that a lot of Star Wars characters suffer from, which is that it's a good concept, and they might have been able to flourish into something good, but the writer just kind of just not given to I, Does I, not give them anything to flourish. I mean, anything, to be fair... Any time to She's be fair, Monty in her... Go ahead. To, to be fair, Monty did yeah. kick the bucket like part way through the series. So, well, from what I heard, she was kind yeah. of scheduled to like have her like route the way it was from the beginning. Well, so, yeah, but it probably so, been um, like from day one. See, but they, 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 also, they, also, she kind of fell under a trope of like the uh, the the mentor, like kind of yeah you know, yeah 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 the, the, one of the main characters mentors kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what I think she was meant to be anyway. Which sucks, because she has big titties, but, like, you know, I it feel, happens. I feel like she, she died just... She just died to further John's character Actually, development. I mean, I could I argue that. that. Oh, it's further so John's... It was so unnecessary. It was Oh, by the way, spoilers, Pira dies, I guess. <laughs> it's like, oh, how was Ruby? Kind of to... It's been after, yeah, what, two years, to years to now? I put a spoiler are we putting a spoiler warning on the episode? I, uh, I try not to spoil Vandred, and it's been out for 18 yeah. years, because nobody's seen it. 
<laughs> what the fuck is a Mandarin? I will combat the the Ruby thing of the, she didn't just die to further anyway. John. She, she further she died to further John and to give Pier, uh, Ruby her special silver eyes. Anyway, this is the this is an uh, anime titty podcast, not the Ruby debate podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. White Rose is the best ship, I guess. White Rose is yes. the best yeah. ship. Right, Rose, yeah, everyone? That's what, that's what Underscore keeps telling me, so I guess Bumble it's true. Yeah. Has the most canon anyway, content, I'll do that. I haven't anyway. played with Hura because yeah. of the reason they stated, so I had no opinion on her. You've not played with fucking anyone. I told you to play testing table characters before the podcast, Cody. I've been making, working! Why are you know, making so characters for a game you don't play? But, you know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Anyway, we opened the ruby can of worms. I'm going to be set a death threat by Neos. Um, next, we have Sola, um, who was made by Superfluous um, completely. And she's from the Legend of Dark Witch games, uh, I think. Re- yeah. Really underrated game. It is. Yeah, um, she's, she's, uh, it's, 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 she's, she's right there with Zizo. Yeah. I fucking loved Zizo when I played her first. Like, she was great. Just Superfluous did a great job. Well, she is his waifu, pretty clearly. Well, yeah. He, he's had many profile pictures, and they're all Zizo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've really yeah. liked... I love Zizo a lot, and I love Sola a lot, too. I haven't played her as much as I think I could have. But I know I'm gonna also... Because he sent me a while ago, he sent me a copy of The Legend of Dark Witch. And I haven't gotten to playing it yet, but it's on my list of games to play. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, I snapped I up one of, of his Steam keys. Yeah. I think that's a good way to get people to just check out the seeds, just throw it around, just chuck steam keys at everyone, and then people will be able to talk to you about it. I can't really yeah. do that with Road Trigger, because right? there's no, it's not a game. I can't just throw copies of Road Trigger at everyone. I have a zip file with all of Android's episodes. That's I just fair. give to people. Oh, that's fair. I could probably try and do, I could probably do that with, um... Road Trigger, or just send a link to, like, the anime websites it's on. But yeah, Sola's a lot of fun. Um, she's really cute. She's, um... I, wouldn't, I, I don't think I like her as much as I like Zizo, but I still really love her. And Superfluous does great work all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, when I um when I play, I, I mostly played the testing table characters in the past couple of days, and I did the first group, which had you know Janetta, but also um, but also her, and they they kind of meshed pretty well. They they were a little they were kind of similar in how they acted. I mean, they had their like pretty big differences, but um, as far as how they interacted with other yeah. other characters, I'd, I'd say they're kind of similar. Yeah, I mean, I it's know. the Anyone head pads. It is the head pads for all yeah. table, so. I, yeah. I like some games. Her personality is very bubbly. Yeah, I like her a yeah. lot. I'm definitely going to be playing her a lot more often, and I'm for sure probably going to sponsor her when she goes up. I'm 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 getting used to Sola because I'm I'm trying to write more targets to her and and Zizo. Yeah. Next, I up, need to uh, I focus on Sola a little bit more because I didn't focus much on her when playing because the other three characters drew my attention away. So I kind of need to focus on her next time I'm playing. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of a bad sign if she didn't grab your attention. I mean, to be fair, yeah. he probably I mean, knows the, the other on, three. Uh, Legend of Dark Witch, really. They, they hit all my kinks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's always good. See, there was nothing eye-grabbing about the character, which is not saying anything bad about the character, it's just not the kind of character for me. That's fair. Next up is a character co- um, made by Cody here. It's Clover oh, from God. 999. Mm-hmm. So, um, tell us a bit about why you made her. Why did you choose to make Clover? Why? What do you like about 999, just in general? Please don't spoil it, though. I'm still playing it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, why I decided to make Clover is because I, I just freshly beat the game. And, uh, you know, I was playing Spatney at the time. And then I saw, oh, hey, we're looking for more characters. Like, you know what? Let me just hop on that train. And then... Yeah, pretty much the rest is history. Nine as for why I played ninety nine. Uh, I mean, it's just it, 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 it's like a lot like Danganronpa. I freaking love Danganronpa. Pretty much any game made by Spike Church off is like, Mwah. yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure at least four out of five of us here absolutely adore Danganronpa. Seen as mm. two of us have Danganronpa related profile pictures, and then there's me. 
<laughs> yeah. And then there's Phantom. Oh, what's, Spano. What's, what, what's that? What's that series again? Dang it, Ron Paul. Dan- yeah. Paul. But yeah, Dancing no, um, Robert. I know I got Django um, Unchained. I got a copy of Nine Nine Nine. Well, this is the Nonary Games um, collection from Johan on Steam. I'm currently playing through Nine Nine Nine. Yeah, this, I really want to play a lot of games that are in like the Danganronpa family, like yeah. obviously the predecessor, like Phoenix Wright, um, kind of yeah, like even yeah. not 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 so much for Professor Layton. I hear a lot of good things about, and I really want to play Nine Nine Nine. Yeah, but okay. apparently, the so I want to I want to have this public. So I was asking about like stuff about it, and he told me the main character of um, Virtue's Last Resort, I think, uh-huh. Sigma, has an. 18 inch cock that can fold into the shape of a sigma. As far as I'm aware, that's not canon. He's told me that it was like, he sent me like the, um, the that interview. Is, that is A plus character design. Where yeah. he, the creator yeah. of 999 confirmed it, or the creator of Zero Escape confirmed that, it. That reminds me of an old 4chan picture. But anyways. An old 4chan picture old. involving a guy with an 18 inch dick folding into a sigma? Well, not folding into the, the Sigma. Is this 18 but, inches for yeah. Sid? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was, it was like an elephant trunk, but I guess it was. I don't know. Kind of um, to judge it there's also something I want to say since we're on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Is it about uh, massive cocks? No. Oh. It's about, uh, we'll call her Beta Clover. Uh, yeah, she she was a bit rush. I, you know, trying to get <laughs> Do the test table as fast as possible, and uh, oh yeah, everybody sort into it. You know, I, I'm happy with the new model. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, her, her new model looks way better. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, yeah, if you want to see like, model, if you want to see a model go from good to absolute shit, ask to see Zeus's um, progression of Captain America. Because he has a picture of like the uh, very first. I don't remember seeing that. I think I have but, it somewhere. Uh, I can show you guys the later after the podcast. The, the, big, the biggest roadblock with Clover. The biggest roadblock with Clover is definitely the hair. Yeah. Like, getting that perfect was yeah. so hard. It looks fucking amazing now. Anyway, James, you were saying something? Oh, sorry. It's just funny that you said that about Captain America because it seems like comic characters always get like fucked over when it comes to design. Like, well, they're always like. I mean, Kisuke is an anime paper doll creator, so trying to capture something that's not anime at all is pretty hard. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, props to the people that try to make Western characters, I, I could never. I'm also not really yeah. interested in it. <laughs> yeah. Kudos to the people that make the Overwatch characters, because they resemble the characters pretty well. Oh, Except all for the Mercy. Other... Yeah, Mercy can use them more, but, like, every, everything else, I think, is, like, a great yeah. model. Roadhog mm-hmm. when Roadhog for Spinati. Fucking uh, Riddle Maker. Man, fucking junk rat. Riddle Maker and yeah, all of her poses are butt poses. Just all of them. Roadhog. Junk rat would definitely Faces be there. the wrong way. Roadhog. Okay, I, I have just every time she fires her gun, it just misses. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's Clover. She's a lot of fun. Um, I can't mm-hmm. wait to find out that she's going to murder me. I know she's like. All I know about 999 so far is that Clover's probably going to turn out to be crazy. Because she has a fucking axe for some reason. Yeah, uh, the the axe is a topic of discussion. I've been considering just removing and redoing the angry pose. Yeah, no worries. Sir. That's currently what my character is targeted about her. So, <laughs> which is like, why the fuck do you have an axe? <laughs> because why, that's going to the immediate reaction, you know? Why don't you have an axe, motherfucker? Yeah, where, the, where does the axe go when she's not using it? It's still a mess. You know her ass. She shoves it up her ass. No masturbation gimmicks. Shoves it up her axe. It's Red not like, masturbation. Why don't you get rid of my guns, but you get to keep your axe? Dude, calm down there, Frost. Don't You don't have to hate every masturbation gimmick. Yep. Nope. Red keeps her guns expand, because she tells dude. the bouncer to uh, fuck himself. Does she? <laughs> nice. I, have the, I have a character planned uh, after a Clover's... Uh, when Clover's done. Uh, she, she has a really interesting... You should wait, you should wait until we go to our but, future projects um, section of the podcast when we talk about much. our future product projects. I, or you well, can just talk for an hour, you know. We don't yeah, matter. Anyway, you know what's next on this list? It's Jury Han, made by Medley Tar. 
Speaking of crazy bitches. Yeah. Speaking of absolutely crazy bitches. Characters. Jury, Jury, ah, Jury. Yes, yes, Jury. Uh, never played Street Fighter, but uh, you know, Clover. There's she has a, a plan to have a whole bunch of directed lines with her because she threatens Pit, and Pit is best harem. Are you getting, are you trying to like force Clover into Pit's harem? No. Yes. No. Yeah, you are. No. I don't he, believe he's you. He's the youngest first look. He's the youngest looking first thing on the table. You know what? I, I've written Clover to be you know not sexually experienced, and he was like, "Oh, your boy, ooh." Clover looks fucking five. Not actually, it's a Is joke. Is more of that lore about, you were yeah. talking about? Yeah, the jury's cool. Okay. Cody, are we gonna have to like call up Chris Hansen? <laughs> Calm down, there, Spam. She's over hey. five years old. No, she's, I, hey, she's confirmed eighteen. She is confirmed eighteen. But anyway, Jury Han. Speaking of people who are confirmed eighteen or older, everyone on Spinati, hopefully. Anyway, Jury Han. Yeah. Jury Han's Except a lot of fun. Jury Han's a lot of fun. Um, she's like. Mm-hmm fucking aggressively sexual, and I think that's something that you don't see a lot, because a lot of people kind of tiptoe away being too sexual, because of Moon. <laughs> that's that, that was the first comparison I drew, but apparently yeah. it's in character for her to be, like, totally nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think it kind of fit into that aggressive fandom kind of sexuality, so I think it fits pretty well. Yeah, because that's your fetish, has, like, James. She, she, huh? That's your fetish, James. I'm joking. I mean, I'm not going to call you out. Like, this don't worry. Yeah, I mean... Hey, you know what? The, the quote can ask for here. We don't kink shame here. I mean, I, I'm just trying to keep my mystery here, but my point, my, my finishing thought was was that, you know, she, she as far as my games go, she loses her clothing pretty quick, but even so, she just kind of takes it in stride. Like, fuck it! Like, she's the least pissed off about it. You know, I, she goes yeah. down swinging. And it's a nice little unique thing about her, I'd say. Yeah. So... It's always nice to like... She, she wants to break you in half. And she'd yeah, rather do that than Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> she got an epilogue, too. And uh, damn, is the I animation good on it, as I usual, mean. for Metal Etar. Yeah, I haven't gotten the, um, um, to the epilogue yet, but I'm going to soon, hopefully. Yeah, I, I won a game with her in it, but uh, it said that no one had one written for yet. Same. Uh, that was no, she has one now. Oh. Okay. Really, it makes new. my epilogue look like shit. So... <laughs> I'm going to have to yeah. improve them eventually. To be fair, I still don't know what I'm going to do for a Jin epilogue. And my idea for a Kira epilogue was called too upsetting because it involves implying that Kira murders the player after the game. But fucking, I guess some people just aren't into being mutilated and murdered by a serial killer because they're cowards. I, I, they're cowards. cowards. But I have cowards. an idea for a Jin, for a Jin epilogue is that you, you and he get trapped in the woods at night, and you use his dick as a flashlight. <laughs> God bless. No, but I was thinking, I was thinking you, you're, he's in the woods, and you watch him strip while he's in the, in, in the public area in the woods. Because no one's nah. ever done an epilogue like that before. No, nah, it's like you, you two re- reenact that Slender Man game, except instead of a flashlight, it's his dick. I, so I'm, just like, I'm currently struggling on my own epilogue, so I know how it feels. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this Rudolph rewrite. <laughs> Are you just drinking? You're like, shit, <laughs> it's too dark. Here, Jin, let me give you a hand job real quick. Okay, sweet, it I can see. So bright, Is the Clover epilogue just she buries a fucking axe in your head? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that seems to be the, the kind of girl she is. That's a Yuri epilogue, though. That's a epilogue Yuri would make. Let's be honest. Yuri, Yuri's been bitching about how there's not enough epilogues for her. She li- in one of the epilogues she helped make the fucking Ochako one. You literally get stabbed by Hima Kotoga. Well, that's what happens when you give epilogue cre- credits over to Yuri. Yeah, knives are involved. Yeah, you're literally stabbed in the chest, presumably during an epilogue. And it's awesome, but also, holy shit. Anyway, next we have a character that I'm so fucking excited to be in Spinati because it's Jolene Cujo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, made by the talented mm-hmm. Black Thulu. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm going to probably be witch hunting for this, but uh, I've only watched the first uh, first JoJo when, you know, the vampire stuff. That's fine. I don't know if that's, like, spoiler territory. But I, after, like, the... Yeah. 
Oh, no, no, it's old as fuck. So You're I'm, allowed to talk about it. Don't worry. There's a gay but, uh, vampire. After that first, uh, we'll call it segment. I really just kind of lost interest in JoJo. I, I haven't really watched the stand stuff yet. I definitely mm. keep going if if it's something you're interested in. If not, then you know it's yeah. your own taste. That I, I will say that is very common. I mean, you probably heard that, like that. Uh, the a lot of people say that the first one's kind of a slog. Um, the second one doesn't really have the stands, but it's really when the characters start like popping. Like the main character is a huge Fucking. like leg up in terms of like charm. Yeah, to the humor. point where he was included in three more parts afterwards. Well, no. Two more parts yeah. afterwards. Yeah, and, like, it builds off of what happened before, so it's not, like, a complete waste. But, like, yeah, yeah it, it's it's a it's it's a worth a second look, like, yeah. in, in the future. I but, definitely like, watch yeah. part two because, well, thing. I think that ha- part two is probably my favorite part of all time, honestly. Mm. Just, like... Um, the mix of like, well, part two or part five are my favorites. Part Joseph is definitely my favorite JoJo though, because he's Joseph fucking Joestar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Joseph. What are the other topics on the JoJo podcast? On the JoJo podcast, we're, we're um gonna continue talking about Jolene because no one said anything about her yet. Um, she's cute. Uh, I like her. I like her model especially. She's yeah. uh, she's got the body type I like, like which is uh, abs, hips, and tits. <laughs> abs, hips, and yeah, tits. Yeah, abs and I've played against Julie. Also, and a cute I, I personally enjoyed the uh, character. Some of the her poses were hilarious. Like, I, I, I gave me a good chuckle when she, one of her stripping moves, her is reading a reminder to herself about her underwear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. That was pretty good. That was fun. Yeah, I love that. And one. then wiping away like nothing happened. Um, I love her, um, because she has the bondage, um, finish, too. Yeah, the Which I still need to target. That's just a lot of fun. I need to target the shit out of her with both Jin and Kira. That reminds me. Is, can the Spatney characters see stands? Um, If maybe. they don't have a stand. Um, I've been going with that they can. I would say yes, just because that's more interesting. Yeah, everyone I mean, in the inventory is a stand user. Technically speaking, the fact that only stand users can see stands only applies to the JoJo universe. Damn. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm writing. I'm writing um, some replies to Jolene with Revy right now because she gets really aggressive with her, and Rev- <laughs> Revy's just like, "Bring your fucking gay gimp robot. I'll I'll gank his ass too." <laughs> God bless. I fucking Doesn't love fucking Revy. scare me. Speaking, Dude, Revy's, of- Revy's just a treat. Dude, absolutely. Speaking I'm of to, Revy, I'm trying to make her into one. Speak of Revy. Speaking of Revy, um, next is her, um, who's being, yes. who's originally made by OSG and Undead Clown, but Spananon has come to add a whole bunch of more dialogue to her. Yes. Uh, so because I'm not her original creator, um, it put her back on the testing tables, and I, I gave her a bunch of generic lines to start off with, and I'm in the middle of giving her some more targeted lines. Um, people seem to respond, um, pretty well to, like, the direction I've gone with her and, like, her new poses and stuff. So, I'm probably gonna get her, uh, sponsored pretty soon. Just, like, have some responses. I'll have her target, like, the stuff you, you absolutely have to target. And then I'll just, uh, I think, I think she's ready. She'll be ready at that point. And she should, she should rejoin the main roster where she belongs, since she was already on the main roster before. Plus, you know, gotta get her in there before the, the next resort poll, which is coming up. Yeah. I'm excited for yeah. that. So she definitely uh, deserves to, to be on there. Unfortunately, yeah. Clover's not going to be that bad. <laughs> Jin and Kira are both yeah. there. I'm ready to see Kira drop like a rock and Jin to soar. I mean, they're both already at the end of the of the, the roster. So. Well, yeah, I guess Kira can't get any further back. That, that'd be a shame. He's not. He's definitely one of the, the better males. At least compared to like Captain Falcon, and I don't know. Medicine. Honestly, I feel like Kira's a bit too niche, though. You leave Captain Falcon alone. I, I think Kira just needs more lines, honestly. Yeah, and also to be less murder horny, but then that'd be out of character. So I'm just gonna yeah. keep him murder horny and fuck what everyone else says. So I, I, I want to get, I want to, I want to get uh, Revy caught up a little bit more um, and get her sponsored. But I will still like work on her having uh, targeting, targeting everyone, even after she's back in the the main roster. So I'm not yeah. going to abandon her. 
Like she's she's my adopted child now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep her. I'm gonna have her keep pace. Yeah, going I, forward. I'm gonna keep up, updating her. I still her. need to. I still need to continue my lines for Jin because I do. I do want him to target everyone in the game. Yeah, and he's he's got good targets so far. So I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, it's just been a lot of because I've been working on this um, training card game for the Spinati um, Discord server, as well as. Um, other stuff that's not actually that important, but I have some fun with. <laughs> like, Raina, Raina also commissions for writing, which is also quite important, because it's making me money. Well, hey, if it's fun, that's what yeah, matters. Yeah, that's kind of why I haven't done development. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. Revy, uh, I, I'd like to talk a bit about Revy, because, holy fuck, she's awesome. I just... She's just <laughs> a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun to play with. She's one of the first couple characters I played a table with when I first joined the server. Oh, um, what a way to start. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think my very... She was on my second table. And I was just like... I've never seen... I, I, I didn't even know about Black Lagoon before I saw Revy. But now it's definitely on my series list because it's like a really dark anime, I think, from what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, that's all I really know about is that it's hardcore. Like it's it is not bleak. around. Revy's from it. And she is constantly talking about murdering people, so it can only be good. Yeah, well she's she's not she's not murder in like a like a crazy way. She's not like stone yeah. cold nuts the way Jerry is. She's she's kinda like putting on a front. Yeah. Like she she is pretty fucked up inside, but she's she's deliberately being intimidating. She's not just like oh, yeah. totally crazy. I know, and I love that. It's mm. just like she has such a depth, deep character that, like, mm. I just want I, her to I, break I, I my. I tried neck. to capture a little bit. Honestly, or like, she, I just yeah. want her to whenever one she by tries one to be intimidating. Break my fingers. Yeah, like, yeah, like whenever she tries to be intimidating, she always talks about her past experiences, and, like the shit she's been through. So it's not like super hollow and crazy. Like you think it gets portrayed pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And it's impressive so, yeah. that you can mm-hmm. like show off a character's deeper side in an anime titty game. Well, I that's that's what makes a character appealing to me. Yeah. Even even in a setting like this is where you kind of see them have a little bit of introspection. Yeah. It makes them, you know, makes them feel real. So oh, it kind of yeah. it makes the it makes the game and the and the stripping more fun, honestly, because they feel like a real person. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so besides giving her more targeted lines, and I'll keep updating her. Don't worry about that because it's fun writing for. Her. Um, mm. I, I am I am pretty close to finishing like a like a reworked model because a lot of people have complained about that. Yeah, the tattoo looks so fucked up. Yeah, I didn't I didn't make her model. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like and and it kind of looks like she has a penis at a glance. <laughs> hey, that would have just her made her better. Fly. That would have just made her better, honestly. But I've 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 uh I've been working on and I'm pretty close to completing like a, a model that like kind of fixes her proportions to look a little more accurate and also and, uh, gets rid of her fake penis. It gets rid of her penis. Uh, gives her like better boots that actually have like shoelaces because right now it just looks like she has rain boots on. What about her tattoo? Mm-hmm. I made her. I made her. I didn't change her tattoo too much, but I made it a little more detailed and I kind of like lowered the opacity. So I honestly like have just gotten rid skin. of like the hair pieces and photoshopped it on or something. I know the, yeah, they're hair they're hair accessories, but I just cut them out and exported them and made them into image attachments so they were easier and they wouldn't move with her head. Yeah. Also, what yeah. are shirt changing colors at a random time? Oh, I well, those are just old bugs that I, yeah. I fixed those bugs already. Nice. Okay. Mm. Next on the list is so, someone I've talked about yeah. before, but she's still on the table. Um, and to Beatrix from Battleborn, made by Bluecoin. And uh, first thing you notice about her is that she has a giant fuck off syringe for an arm. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's kind of off putting. Not gonna lie. Off putting or absolutely arousing. Depends on how much of a coward you are. Why are half the characters on the testing tables fucking nuts? Because, <laughs> because it takes longer for them to get sponsored. Doki Doki literature characters. Well, Monica's the one that's nuts. Well, uh, oh, she's well, nice. right. I guess they're all kind of nuts. Yeah, all I mean, you can't blame them. When you're around Monica, it's, you know... I mean, have you played with Monica yet? 
Monica's so I'm afraid. She's, she's like literally I would fast. put her in the top five of standing characters right now. Yeah. She's really good. But anyway, Beatrix, she's... You know, Battleborn gets a lot of flack because it's made by Randy fucking Pitchfork. And yeah, now we're moving on to our <laughs> game controversy podcast. Um, yeah, but no. Mm. Um, Battleborn gets a lot of flack, but I think Blue Cone did a really good job on making Beatrix. Hey, that's that's the hill he's gonna die on, man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I sponsor, God I'd sponsor bless him. her personally. I un- I understand liking a, a series that <laughs> that's unpopular. So, oh yeah, same oh, here. Light. Same here, dude. But yeah, but uh, yeah, she has a giant fuck off syringe. Yeah, and, and she, she could do various very things to me using that giant fuck off syringe. <laughs> Many of them probably illegal. <laughs> he has yeah. he has been uh, working on giving her more targeted lines, so that should be fun. <laughs> yeah, she's very uh, very smug. And I mean, he's managed to get not one but two OCs into the main game, so that's pretty impressive. And Beatrix is so underknown that she's pretty much another OC. So <laughs> I can't wait to see her get in. Well, you could at least Google Beatrix. That's true. That's true. <laughs> And then you see her, and your boner dies. Or my boner starts. <laughs> it's one of those cases where the, where the Kisuke model is more attractive. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. Yeah. At least to me, I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority on giant I mean, syringes giving you a boner. But... I mean, it's not <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah, I see what you mean. It's not oh my god, I just, I just googled her. That face, though. <laughs> Oh, that face! Oh god! Yeah, Look, um, I've, I've already I've already resigned myself to the fact that me and Blue Coin are never going to agree on anything. So, that's fair. I mean, you know, don't he, you agree? You know, he can do what he wants. Don't you uh, both agree on the fact that you'll never agree on something, though? That doesn't count. Yes, don't it does. A, don't be a pussy. <laughs> Fuck you, it can't. <laughs> Next and our last one on the test enable, we have uh, Sayori. I'd love to mm-hmm. hang out with her, honestly. Same as the first. Haven't played Doki Doki. Don't know a single thing about her, and haven't played it against her. Spoilers: she hangs herself. Oh, cool. I like her. How preppy she is. Like this very in character for the fake preppiness. At least she has from the actual game. And again, the model is perfect. Like with the hair and such, it just looks incredible to me. At least, yeah, something different to see. Yeah. That, all it's just uh... like really detailed hair. I know all of the Doki Doki literature models that are being used in the game were both were all made by a guy who goes by Robotnik, um, and he's yeah. done he did an amazing yeah. job. So when on he's all not chasing them. Sonic, this is what he does. Yeah, Doctor Robotnik, <laughs> in his spare time, makes models for anime titty games. But I, I, I can see uh, man playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I mean, t- who the fuck hasn't played Doki Doki Literature Club other than Maybe. Cody? <laughs> Oh, and Honestly, I, I just can't be asked. Yeah, I just fair. like spoiling it. Yeah, At yeah. this point, it's too late to play it, though. Like, you know what's going to happen. I, I've, I've seen the memes. Yeah. I managed to go into a blind, which I was able to be extremely lucky, but unlucky with. Yeah. No, I did a blind as well. I just kind of picked it up. Like, when it, like, first, like, was okay. known before it was big, yeah. I was like, oh, shit, anime yeah. dating sim. Maybe I can see a titty. And then I played it, and then I was like, oh. See, I had the problem with, I didn't know you could skip past Yuri being kind of the way she was for the weekend, without spoiling it. And um, so I sat there just hitting spacebar constantly for that. Yeah. And just kind of just sat there staring at that for about <laughs> 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, that was, that's, that's fun. Okay. So that's the testing table. Um, yep. If you're gonna Yay. play, if you're gonna play um, Spinati, try the testing table. There's always gonna be new characters there to try out. Um, don't be yeah, an if asshole. You're, if you're a beginner, if you don't know how how to play poker, play against Sayori because she's on bad difficulty most of the time, and she gets dunked on. Yeah, she gets fucking. Yeah. Strangely enough, I haven't actually gotten to her forfeit. <laughs> the she, one, it's I pretty, guess... it's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Or is it? I thought so, is are they not doing the bondage forfeit they had or people had originally planned for her? I don't. That, that's like a thing with Monica that's planned. 
Oh, I don't think oh, that, that I don't think that's dope. in there yet. Okay, so next I think we're that's going still to be worked on. Also, if you don't know how to play poker, like what kind of upbringing did your parents give you? Like, come <laughs> on. I, 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 was was like, I would probably raise a thirty-one. Thank you. Go out, go outside. Stop Damn watching anime world. and learn learn some life skills. Learn how to play poker. Learn how to play chess. You know, go to a party. <laughs> I, I know how to play both, actually, so I think I'm living life, then. Living life, Larry? people that don't know how to play poker. What are you, 12? If you're 12, you can't be here. No, no, no. That's illegal. Actually illegal, too. Anyway. First of all, make a throwaway account if you're 12. Second of all, t- get your parents to teach you how to fucking play poker. <laughs> Third of all, don't be obvious about it. Like, come on. Anyway, <laughs> now we're going to be talking old, about... play poker for six years and then come back. Yeah. If you're 12 go, years old, watch Vandred. <laughs> if you're 12 years old, just don't come onto the porn titty Discord. Or if you are, be a very convincing yeah. not 12 year old. Get like a Darth Vader voice changer. Get two other 12 year olds in a trench coat. Yeah. Before you log in. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking t- five. My microphone just, just pitch shifts me. I, I mean, don't know how fair. my microphone makes me sound. You sound like it, yeah, you're yeah. A Scottish, so. You'll hear it soon enough. I got yeah, a bit, hope so. Yay. I got a bit of Scottish to me. I'm a little bit of a mixed bag. I am probably Scottish. Hey, if you give uh, if you give ice enough money and beer, you'll have de- you'll definitely have Scottish in you. I don't know. I, I can handle the devil's roof. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get out of first. <laughs> and I like how it took you so long to figure it out, and it's about you. Oh. Over, over the head. Oh, man. I, in case you didn't get the joke, I'm implying you'd sleep with people for alcohol and money. I mean, I don't need the alcohol. I've already got that. But what's, <laughs> what's more alcohol? Does Scotland use money? Have they evolved that part? <laughs> No, no, we just headbutt each other. That's our currency. Like, if you don't buy bread, that's one headbutt. So you go up to the guy and just nut him in the forehead. You just nut him in the forehead, eh? You just nut him in the forehead. Yeah. Yeah. Nut him in the forehead. Nut him. I realized to the American viewers, that was going to come out wrong. I got... Anyway... <laughs> Because nut means something else. I'm just imagining <laughs> Ice sitting there fucking coming on another person's face so he can get so she can get bread. I <laughs> so Ice like, like oh shit, your head against us. <laughs> That's why they call it the money shot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, before this gets derailed nice anymore. Comedy bow. Anyway, before this gets. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Key Yuri, Yuri, Yuri wishes she could come up with jokes like that Ice can you uh Oh wait shit this is Irish though Yeah I know Yeah, yeah what's the difference I, I, Ice can you just read can you the um Read it I, I can of course that Ay, You like that do you Would you like it if I went harder Would you like that you wee slit uh, y- Yeah uh, What was that uh, I <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Okay, now, now Cody. the next topic on the, on the Irish slash Scottish <laughs> erotic roleplay podcast. Uh, Cody, Cody, that's you were mentioning you had hate. another I, you had another plan. Um, Cody, you were mentioning you had another um planned character after you're done Clover. Want to talk about her? Uh yes. Um, uh, she is from a uh, Mova. <laughs> She's from the Boba Smite. Um, I don't want to spoil it right now because it's kind of, I wanted to be kind of a surprise, but okay. uh, they are a stance switcher, and they, it's, kind of, it's kind of like a launch. Oh, cool. Interesting. You know, it, yeah. Yeah, she kind of has the same gimmick as launch, but um, well, once I have like a basic mod to work off of, I will show it off. <laughs> Uh, development server or on the regular Spanish server. Yeah, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, and, uh, sorry. And then after that, I do plan to do kind of like a Ruby table, in a way, with a uh, an anime called, um, I can't remember it, top of my head. But it, it should be interesting. Cool. 
Um, Ice, talk about um the character you're currently working on. So, the character I'm currently working on is Chloe Price from Life is Strange, admittedly, slowly but surely, because work is a time constraint, but uh, I, I thought I'd start with a character I at least know very well and have had years of experience with writing for, and plus with the, the recent launch of, uh, yeah, of Before the Star, where we got more information about the character, uh, gave me the idea of, well, let's write this character because it'd be fun to see this character in a situation where she's not going to be killed in any whatsoever way. Instead, she's just going to have fun, be a lesbian at times, and be straight sometimes as well. I think that's called bisexuality, Ice. Mm. Yes, it is, but she more swings one way than the other, at least in terms of the canon story. It's fucking bi- Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, no, it's that was mostly a coherent sentence, too, so I could almost understand you. I, I try my best. I try my best. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I'm excited for Chloe. The model was done by Johan, and he's done some really good models. Johan is a god with Chloe's, mod- Chloe's model. I can speak English well. No, you speak Scottish. Anyway, uh, Span, yeah. do you have any, um, other than, uh, after Revy, do you have any projects you're, you're going to do? Well, I, I say this every time, but I do um, Balalaika, who's also from Black Lagoon, Mother Russia herself, so she ha- she'll have plenty of banter with Revy. <laughs> um, she's probably going to be, like, the last, just writing thousands of lines uh, and starting from scratch on writing thousands of lines kind of takes the wind out of me. <laughs> Um, I'd rather I'd rather just have like a like a like a nice even four characters and just keep improving and updating them. Um, definitely, definitely want to keep giving Revy more targeted lines. Same with Maya and Jura, you know, just just to keep expanding on the interactions they have with other characters. Yeah, because uh, the do, one do thing like Maya little... needs is more lines. She's definitely lacking. Hey, she's she's all she are, she's already over eight thousand. So the memes are almost there. She can, she can, she can almost crush her scouter. Well, the manga standards, it's right. It's over. Uh, so I keep doing that. Um, possibly give Revy an art update because uh, people seem to really like um, the the new model I'm, I'm making for. Her. I think my proudest moment happened yesterday, which which is, which is a mouse actually praised something that I did in Kisuke, which is like God coming coming down from the heavens and blessing you. Yeah, Mouse is a fucking legend on Kisuke. That's like, that's 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 like the the kindergarten teacher praising your finger painting. <laughs> but, uh, it is. No, it's like no. it's more like the president coming to your kindergarten class and being like, "Hey, I'm taking your 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 um finger painting and putting it in the White House." Nice, but yeah, so yeah. probably probably gonna do that. Um. Probably just like just just some like general maintenance, like giving uh, my characters more poses and like trying to improve their generic lines, giving giving them some more because they could definitely use some more on that. And most of their lines are targeted lines. Um, definitely definitely want to make Bala Laika, and uh, I can complete my little. You could have this banana on table finally at that yes. point. The, um, I can't wait I for might, the. La- I might make like Ayla Chrono Trigger at some point. But she's definitely on the back burner for now because I think there's a lot more hype for Balalaika, and there's probably more that I can do with her. Yeah. Plus, her her model is fucking hard because she has burn scars all over. Yes. Yeah, and there's fucking... no good way to make it with belts. She's a. So I have to use. I've used image attachments. She's a barbecued Russian mommy. It's fucking what's not to love. I I can speak from experience saying that working with image attachments is a pain. Yeah, well, it'll be worth it because yeah. she's pretty hot. She and she's very tall. She is. She's great. I'm pretty sure Hex is absolutely in love with her too, because she's tall yeah. and dominant. I'm absolutely in love with her. Not if as much as Maya, of course. If you but... aren't in love with Balalaika, what's fucking wrong with you? She definitely needs like the most femdom at blog of all time. Yeah, she does. You have, to, you have to like kiss all her scars. Oh my god. Okay, um, for my future projects, pro- 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 for my future projects, I'm working with Yuri to make Erica Frog from Soul Leader. Um, she's going to be a lot of fun because she's got the 
So so far, all of my characters have been very different personality wise. Yuichi Jin was super smooth and confident and flirty. Kira was creepy and like perverted. Um, and Erica's gonna be very kind of trying to boast herself, trying to act all confident, and then slowly and surely just have that all crumble down because she's actually a coward. Um, that's also, actually yeah. She's a lot of fun, breaking, too. Breaking a woman's spirit. She's also the objective best frog girl, because fuck sue you. She's overrated. Erica's where is that? When you want frogs? Because oh. sue you will, will call you as worse as the villains if you break the rules. But Erica, not only does she not care, she she encourages you to break rules. So, like, that's my TED Talk. But I'm also... I'm going to start doing work on Jinx from League of Legends as well. Superfluous has um, made a model for me. I'm going to get. I'm gonna start stretching myself out in Kisuke, start learning how to pose, and then probably have someone at Photoshop. First, at first I thought you said Jinx from Pokemon. That joke has been made constantly for two months now, Span. And that's what I think every time you say that. It's Jinx from League of Legends. Yeah, she, and she's also going to be and completely she's flat. different. Okay, the yeah. Are for me. She's tall-ish, though. I think. Well, and what's insane. the point? That's just that just means more surface area with no titties. But she's also insane. Isn't that help? No. Oh, sorry, Span. Erica's also. Hey, hey Jury's insane. Revy's just the banter queen. There's a difference. Fair. Uh... Erica's also yeah, flat. I got nothing for you. I haven't made I haven't made any titty for you. I'm sorry, Span. It's okay. It's just four, cool. I, four characters I've made, none of them have titty, and two of them are guys. I'm so sorry, Span. Don't worry, I'll make you a big titty anime cool, yeah, girlfriend soon. Jin, Jin, I don't I don't really play with male characters, but Jen is a bro. I Jin gotta give you credit bro. there. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm also possibly making Makoto Nijima from Persona 5. I'm gonna be uh, honest. I make her make her older me. sister. I would love to, but the the guy who contacted me wanted to make uh, Makoto, but also haven't heard Ooh. from him in over a month and a half. So tell tell him to get some taste. Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, you know, it's a lot of fun making characters for Spinati. Um, James, would you ever consider making a character? Um, I mean, it would probably be like somewhere down the down the future. Um, but I, I have considered it. Yeah, there's some yeah. characters that cross my mind. Yeah, and it's it's not as hard as a lot of people kind of may think. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. I would yeah. say the dialogue's the, the biggest wall. Oh yeah, because um, like you can finish you, making a model if you make it really good the first time, then you'll never have to touch it again. Posing doesn't take too long, but dialogue you're gonna have to constantly be building. Yeah, I don't mind doing dialogue. Yeah. There used so to be much. a time where like 400, 500 lines were considered a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. I wasn't around for that. Yeah, and now we have Maya who's at how much lines does she have? Uh, 8,202. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now I'm doing a challenge where I'm doing like a thousand words a day for the month just to sort of establish some characters for mm -hmm. like my own original setting. So I think doing the lines wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. By comparison. Yeah. You're um, a really I know kind of space it out and not make it overwhelming. Yeah. Thank you. And, yeah. And also I don't like, have, like shit published, but yeah. you know, I know I've shown you the, um, I actually, you do have some stuff probably published, right? You have that, um, Nike and Mercro fic. No, it, yeah, it's um, uh, Nyagi yeah. and Kirigiri, but it's oh. like a mastermind Nyagi kind of one shot. Okay, yeah, I read that, yeah. and that was pretty, pretty good. good. I have to read it again because it was a while, but yeah, no, you're a great writer. Yeah. Everyone here is pretty you, fucking great writer, honestly. You definitely, you definitely have to enjoy writing to develop for this game. Yeah, I think that's yeah. why a lot of models or a lot of projects just end up being models. Because mm -hmm. you start out and it's a porn game. It's like, oh well, I think this character is kind of hot. I'd like to see her naked, right? And then you have yeah. to get you have to get into that character's mindset for like five hundred 
relatively context-free, very generic lines. And, you know, I think about 100 lines in, a lot of those projects, people realize, maybe I don't like this character as much as I, I, as I thought I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? And so we have like, a you, have to, again, you right? have to love a character. Yeah. And that's the thing is that uh, I was going to say is that my, my one thing is that I would probably start out the gate like doing like Rampa characters just because that would probably be where my passion lies the most. So as long as like fear of oversaturation isn't a thing as far as like a lot of characters coming from one media. As long as it's not um, another fucking Fire Emblem character, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Fire okay. Emblem or, or, or Ruby. Like, had, seriously, watch something else. We haven't had too much Danganronpa. I think we have three Danganronpa three, characters yeah. in game. Yeah, we have three. And That's not so bad. And the Boogie coming like, eventually. Yeah. I yeah. mean, when shit like Vandred has two, Danganronpa can have three. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'm honestly, like, though, there's no, like, rule against having too many characters. No. Mm-hmm. You would just get memed on. If you make, like, another Fire Emblem character. 90% of the initial messages be, oh, it's another fucking Fire Emblem character. Waifu Emblem. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, Fire Emblem, yeah, the series, has like 7 billion characters. Yawn. Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Vandred has I like would say, 5. I would what? say the uh, Fucking Fire Emblem is something you never get into for the amount of characters, but then again, I'm into the Fate series, so I can't say that because Fate has literally limitless characters. That's fair. Fire Emblem has thousands of characters, and about seven of them don't have blue hair. <laughs> blue hair is the best. Fate okay. is kind of just, what if, your, what if your favorite legends were real able to serve you and win a holy grail that can grant you anything, but what if better, some of the males had titty? <laughs> what if some of the boys were titty? What if some well, of them were titties? King Arthur is, uh, is secretly a woman in disguise called Arturia. Yeah. But anyway... So, majority of the show... characters I, I have made or are making or am making are blonde, but still, blue hair is the best. Yeah. Because well, speaking yeah, of blue, speaking of blue hair in my characters, this isn't quite my characters, but say from Valhalla should be getting some updates soon, which nice. includes a which includes a little little dual epilogue with a certain somebody. Oh, is it Maya? Has a lot of banter with. Is it Maya? So, certain somebody that has a lot of blue hair and some unresolved lesbian sexual tension with say. <laughs> hmm. It's great, um, oh, James. I, I, ask the end there, I thought you were talking about Chloe. Yeah, I was no. gonna say I thought Ice was working on Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, but but so, Chloe has look forward flirt- to that. Say no, but it's unresolved lesbian tension with Say, not just in general. Yeah, that's I'm not, what I was I'm meaning not... was up until the Say part. I thought you were talking about Chloe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not making that part. Uh, Namas, the the writer for Say, he's the one doing that. But, Namas you know, he's, is great. He knows what he's doing. He's one of the best creators around, so I trust. He him. He is. I've honestly, I've had to say, like some of the best creators in the community, Namas would be there. Um, Mouse would be there. I, I'd put Span up there too, because like fucking eight thousand plus lines is no no laughing matter. Excuse me, mm-hmm. Jura has over seven thousand. Everyone always forgets about her. Well, yeah, but I'm saying yeah, but still, I'm saying just the eight thousand. Okay, well, fucking put it together, almost sixteen thousand lines just from them. I do plan on giving yeah. them a little more attention once once Revy's up and running. Jesus Christ, I could see a single line from Maya once and never see it again, no matter how many times I play her. That's <laughs> the beauty of it. Yeah. But anyway, I it's, wanted to ask that's, James. That's why I write so many. Well, when I like it, uh, she'll always say something a little different. I think yeah. that's fun. That is fair. But James, if you could, if you were, if you were to make a character, who do you think you'd want to make? Um. I think uh, Celestia would probably be my first yes. pick. Yeah. I would love that. I think Miri would be able to hook you up with a model, would, too. Yeah. I am the first being, like, a, a gambler, but, yeah. you know. Oh, I thought you meant, like, the pony. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's literally, a, a, like, an ultimate gambler in the first on the romp oh. Gothic Walita, like, 
would probably enjoy doing strip poker just to make other people strip down and not take off a single article of clothing yeah. for fun. No, uh, fuck you. She's not being eight it? layers of, of heart. I think, unfortunately, Ooh, she'd fuck be justified, you. though. Happening. I think she'd be the uh, only character... I think she'd have to be... No. No. Nobody is it's justified. She's the ultimate gambler. <laughs> fuck six off. On hard. Six on hard? No. I think six hard and then two layers of average would be fine. That's that's what Vriska is, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. still, like, fuck off. If you're eight layers, you don't touch good. You do not touch good. She's justified. She's allowed fuck to. Off. She is legally allowed to. So is Vriska. I don't play this game to fucking lose. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to suck. Get good a poker, a asshole. Where you can't fold. <laughs> and there was only poker. one turn. Get good at poker. There's no way. How, how the fuck could she win consistently? Cheating. <laughs> Let's be honest. Four other people lose first. To be fair, though, like okay, but G- picking, like having her on good intelligence means she just picks. She knows which cards to discard and which ones not to. She'd know how to do that. Yeah, but this is a game. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't, you don't fucking make make like a, a class that has like the best DPS and the best healing and all the best abilities. You don't put them all on fucking one class. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You spy, it's, it's not. It's not a <laughs> what's oh what's God. the minimum? What's the minimum for good? You're, you're gonna turn this into a bad good. MMO. Anyway. Anyway, Celestia would be allowed to be um, a lot of layers of good anyway. But moving on, I think we're going to move on to our next segment. Fuck off, Spananon. Fuck off, Zuja. <laughs> Fight me. Here, James, I... Still I w- on five layers of good. I'm going to like say five layers... Well, I mean... Well, you have to know how many layers of clothing she'd be wearing... Well, like I said, I've seen, like, people do, like, mix the socks and shoes together. Yeah. Like, Pira did, like, two accessories in one. So, like, it can maybe be finagled. Well, you you can, you can make her all layers of good, just don't give her that many layers. Yeah. But anyway... Yeah, that's what I'm like, by combining, it would chop you yeah. down. But, yeah, I feel like the best person you'd be able to talk to about making Celeste, though, would be Yuri Space Pirate. Because oh, she yeah. loves Danganronpa, like, and she loves Gothgros. And she's great at modeling. She's great at making character models. Okay. And stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm. I can talk to you more about that after the podcast. Because we're... Um, yeah. Yeah. We're moving on. I want to know... Um, I know Cody knows a lot about the development process. And Spen on and I, of course, know. But um, Ice and James, you two don't know a lot about it. So do you have any questions about it? <laughs> well... I would say I did used to have a question before I first attempted it, before I like actually downloaded the character error, because I thought I was going to have to type up like line, and I was kind of going to be like, fuck that. But then I realized the character error. Holy fuck, your mic like, just shit itself. Oh, that's a lot easier than just me having to type yeah. the hold out. Oh, yeah. That's why you. Uh, that's why you use the character editor. I don't fucking know I how any of that shit works. I've always been dependent on the character editor. I probably would. I have used to do a little game. bit of coding, but I think I did coding with C plus plus rather than Python. Yeah, mm. I yeah, never even heard of fucking my biggest Python. Fears when, when one of the developer character was, uh, I didn't know coding, and then I saw a common thing. Well, rather excuse, and at this point, to me now was that. Uh, well, I can't do it. It's just so great. The props to whoever made it. Yeah, yeah. He's the same guy who made Florina and then died. God yeah. bless him. Rips. He was too rips good for the world. Spinati he gave us a great, was... embarrassed character. He gave us the character editor, which really means he's responsible for all the characters made with the character editor. If you think about it. Yeah. I don't. So, I, I, I hear about edit. him. When you hear you about Fnatic Edit, you just hear like he's like some fucking mystery man who walked into town one day, killed the bandit king, like fixed the water supply, and then rode off in the sunset with his horse, never to be heard again. He made gold just flood the streets. Yeah, he just kind of like, he just in the middle of the night, he's like Santa Claus for Spinati. He just broke into her house, 
left us presents, yeah, and then seriously. we never heard of him again. Who some is this man, this, this good Samaritan? Some say Spinati Edit is just a myth, and some, some people say it's an organization. Some say it's the FBI. <laughs> some say he invented Spinati. Some... What if Joseph can't? What if what if Spinati added to Manas right now? What if it's James and we just never knew? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's Dranky? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> if it was Dranky, Florina would have a twelve-inch dick. It's it's my it's my fucking head cannon that that Namasp and Dranky are the same person. <laughs> and everything everything Namasp has done has just been to atone for the sins of Dranky. What if it's like his alter ego? <laughs> like he goes, he goes Lord to sleep one day, forgetting to take his medication. Then he wakes up and it's dranky. Yeah, like he made nine S specifically so he could be like, "Look, I can make a male character without a five foot penis." <laughs> and then everyone and made, was like, "He made he's an actual to, child." To show like, you know, hey, I can make a character that's not Moon. <laughs> was it was it nine S heavily panned for being too childlike? Yeah, that's where you got up um, an update to make him taller. Yeah. Mm. Do the same size as Neo, or other than that, it's just kind of character design because he, he kind of does look like he's nine just in the game. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to make him look like an adult when he looks twelve. I mean, he really wants to mess with nine S though. Just gotta go right. for that twink aesthetic. Yeah, it's hard to make like a twink a twinky guy or like a petite girl in Kisuke without them looking like an actual child. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. fair. Yeah. And, like, that's kind of a concern, because making child porn is illegal. Hey. Yeah. Anyway. The, 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 reason people, the reason people get so anal about it is because the rich not just be of age. Yeah, like, wasn't... Mm. Minus is a fucking android. Like, he's he's well above 18. But... Was it, uh, well, was depends it on when he was made, because... You know, well, just mentally. He's a robot. Robots don't have age. Yeah. Because they're not have dates of, uh, like, dates that were made. Well, yeah, but that's construction date. I'm not going to look at a dildo and be like, oh, it better be 18 years old or else I'm not going to use it. <laughs> wow. I so mean, I there's probably cool. some people that will do that, that they will only buy 18-year-old dildos. Vintage dildos. Come on, now. yes, exactly. Like th- with seventeen billion people in this world, nearly eighteen, bi- uh, eighteen, eight billion people in this world, there has got to be somebody that has done that. What done? Like waited for a what dildo about, to be eighteen. Waited for eighteen years to use a, a dildo. It's got to be ripe. <laughs> I only drink. Um, I only drink. Wine, if it's of age, I don't drink underage wine. That's illegal. I mean, that's most people. To be I fair, don't yeah. drink underage whiskey. Whiskey's got to be at least forty before I'll drink it. I don't. I don't watch any shows unless they're eighteen years old. That's why I watch Mandarin. <laughs> that's why I watch Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Anyway, this got derailed so fucking hard. James, do you have any questions about the development process? Um. Well, I don't really know anything about the character creator, so I guess that would just asking about that would basically be about asking about the whole process. But I well, guess I mean, when it comes to the there's a lot hmm? that actually goes into it. There's um. Well, first off, we use two different programs. We use Kisuke for models. And the character editor for, like, dialogue and stuff. But not everyone does it this way, too. There's a lot of, like... Like, a lot of people use Etherpad and use a, um, a template that's in the found in the offline version of Spinati. It's because they're old farts that can't get with the times. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if they're, mm. if they're comfortable with it, then they can be wrong if they want. <laughs> Work smarter, wish... not harder. Yeah. Faster, longer. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because it does seem like a lot of the time it's yeah. like handing it to somebody or at least talking to someone that's uh, experienced in it. But um, yeah, I guess when it comes to the lines, um, do you guys just sort of start with like generic lines to sort of fill out whatever quota you try to make for them yeah. and then try to add the unique later? Yeah, well, uh, when you open usually. up the character editor, it's gone... Um, 
it has a whole bunch of like cases divide well first off you like write in the info about the character like you'd write in her name Celestia Ludenberg what she's from you'd write the the um the the credits and stuff you do her tags mm-hmm. and everything you fill out what her out clothing is and then you'd open up the dialogue section and it would have like like all her stages and then you open up a stage and it has all different kind of things that like could make a pool of lines for yeah, uh, okay. case is just like something in the game that happens yeah like, like she gets a hand or someone loses or someone masturbates anything, anything and, stuff. Like and then you can uh, build onto those by making new ones that are more for specific things like if she starts a game with her being the only girl or She's playing a game with only Donk and Rumpa characters, or she's playing a game with Kool Aid Man. You know, is that what a uh, target line means? Yes, a targeted line is yeah, just targets and filters and stuff. And yeah, yeah. you you can like make uh, another version of the same like generic case, and you can like start adding different conditions to it. Basically, yeah. It's gotcha. and, it, first, and it naturally it's gives look, it more priority. At first, it's going to so look like different. really complicated. And you're going to be like, "Holy shit!" But like, and that's yeah. how I felt when I opened it. I looked at it and I was like, "Nope, not ready for this tonight." And I closed it and went to sleep. <laughs> and then the, the, next, the more you pick at it, the yeah. more familiar with it you get, and you you can like study other characters, and you can quickly see how they pull off what they do. Yeah, at least with dialogue. Mm-hmm. And you, yeah, you can you can you can. Start to see, eventually you just get good at it, and you can immediately know what conditions you need to set to make it work and have it not repeat constantly. Yeah, right. We have it's stuff like practice. markers too, which are kind of complicated. I still don't fully understand the, like the fullness of marker usage. I just know I don't how to use make them. It. I don't use them that much, but I know how to use them. Yeah. What are markers? Markers are like, for example, she said a line that was like the start of a thought, like she mentioned her cat's name, and you could set a marker for, like, Celeste's cat, and then a later time, she can call back to that marker and say something about her cat, because she, like, it would be weird if she said, like, randomly a thought about her cat without, like, having first mentioned it. So, like, a postponed continuation. Kind of, basically. yeah, it's like a link. But you can also yeah, it, do um, a way of it really to a make... Postponement. Another it's way... It's more like... You can go. Uh, no, no, okay. Another way you can use it is, like, you can put one, a uh, not set marker. For example, she says, like, she mentions something that's going to be remembered, like, she mentions a very specific fact. If she says that very specific fact 13 times in a row, it's going to be annoying. So you can put a marker on it to make sure she only says it once. Oh. You know. Yeah, so basically, it's a, it's like a sort of tag that you add to a line. And then the game will remember that that line was said, or a, or like a line to that effect. Like it brings up something specific, and then you can use it in later like conditions that you add. Where like she said she said this marker, or she didn't say this marker, or you can like reference markers that other characters said. Like if there's you know a marker that they only say sometimes, then you know they can bring it up, but only if it came up. <laughs> right. Since okay. since lines kind of get pulled out randomly, so they might say the marker or they might not. Yeah. So it just sort of um, either makes other uh, dialogues react or it makes a condition for just that dialogue. Yeah, like it's basically. stopping, like Annie said. It's kind of like setting, like if you say a, mar- a line that has a marker on it, it then sets the marker and that marker is permanently set. And then anyone can call back to that marker if they have a line that, like, says... For, like, for it's a conditional dialogue. Like, some conditional dialogue will only play if there are four four male characters. So if Celeste is the only girl in a full table of guys, then that's a conditional line. But some lines will only play if the condition that needs to be met is this marker has been said, or this marker hasn't been said. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's a very flexible... Yeah. way to, like, kind of make your own conditions for dialogue. Right, it sounds like it. It's a lot of Yeah, and it's, and it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a useful way to, like, avoid repetition. The it's other way to normally do that is to, like, target a specific stage of a character. Like, you know, 
you, you target Marinette, and she can only lose her costume once. So if you target her when she's losing her costume, well, that line's only going to play once a game. Yeah. Right. Or you can get super hyper specific and have a line that plays only once Jin has finished masturbating. Chiaki t- has only taken off one item. Kool Aid Man said this is marker, fully and dressed. Jin didn't say this other marker, and yeah, you can get super hyper specific there's, there's, with it. There's there's one character that has the shaved <laughs> tag, <laughs> but at that point, it's just like no one's going to see this line. Yeah, but you can get like really wild with it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's Spinati. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, speaking yeah, of, like a fun it's process. a lot more fun than it sounds. Yeah. Honestly, mm-hmm. I'd say that making a character is almost more fun than playing the game. Sometimes. But that's just me. You know, until your yeah. character gets banned, and then you just feel like a piece of garbage. It, it does I mean, sound like a labor of love, dude. I managed to get Yoshikage Kira sponsored well, I... in under an hour. I mean, it's it's not it's not just for your enjoyment, you know. Yeah. It's for you're making a game for the public. It's for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know, you have to you have to you have to trust sometimes that you know maybe you're not constantly getting getting praise, but there's someone out there that likes your character. Yeah. I know yeah. That. I know I mean, when I play a labor of love, I mean, like, uh, it, it's just a better chance of sticking with it if it's really a character you're into. Yeah. You know, that you really want to see flourish, that you know how to make them flourish. Yeah. Is what I mean. Yeah, that's I mean, a huge know, part. It's, it's, it's just a, you know, it's it's a good way to just put your interests out there. Like yeah. I, I mm-hmm. never met anyone that that saw Vandred until yeah. I made like characters for this game, and then they started popping up. Yeah, I, I even got, I even, I even got some other people to watch the show, which I'm, I'm very proud of. Yeah, and that was cool for me. I was actually baffled when I first joined the server how many people knew about nine nine nine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same company that made Danganronpa, but it also does get overshadowed by it a lot. Oh, Danganronpa completely overshadows the other games. Yeah, I it's mean, sad. I remember I saw an interview between um, Kodaka and the creator of um, ZeroScape, and he was saying, "So, how, how, what, what kind of ways do you think pe- Danganronpa fans can learn about ZeroScape?" And Kodaka said, "Why would I want people to play your game?" Oh, that was funny. But yeah. Anyway, now we're, gonna, we're gonna move along to the Q and A section of our podcast. Our first question Dope. is: There's a lot of que- questions asking who do you want to see in Spinati. Aside from characters of like sexes you aren't attracted to, or characters who their age concerns, what's the one character you would not want to see in Spinati? Sam. I'd say let's go one at a time. So let's start with. Let's go Cody, then James, then Ice, then Spanon, then me. Right. Um, probably Kana. Kana from... Well, I mean, that's... I mean, I mean, even, if you, even if you age her up, like, you, you protect the dragon lolly. Yeah. She looks protect- fucking five. Like, not even joking. Please don't put her in. Uh, James, mm. what about you? What's one character you would not want to see in Spinati? Would not want to see in Spinati. Um. Hmm. I guess sort of off the same page. I wouldn't really want to see Himiko on there either. To well, be honest, not necessarily for the same reason, but just because I I don't know if she would be there. You know what I mean? Like, well. Hmm. Well, she's coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> really? Well, wait, which oh, Himiko, hear... though? I heard Himiko about Yamato right? or Himiko Toga? Oh, Himiko Toga would be fine. Yeah, Himiko Yamato, oh. I think, is the one you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he... it's it's not really a, a big stance. I don't know. I'm kind of having trouble finding an answer for the question. No, that's fair. I mean, yeah, the the reason was for that clarification is because Himiko Toga is being made eventually. Oh, yeah. okay. Y- I thought, Yuri, she's yeah. one of Yuri's many, many projects. I mean, technically, Knife Wife is already in the game with Ochako's epilogue. Well, yeah, but not for the... Anyway, Ice, what's yeah, one I'm, character... I'm talking about a different oh. Himiko. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The magical lolly. Anyway, guys, who's yeah. one character you would not want to see in Spinati? <laughs> Deadpool. Nathan. That's fair. 
<laughs> just just because because of like Deadpool looking like a wrinkly avocado is just you no, keep the mask like, on. even with the mask on. Have you seen how his body looks? It's he, he, he just looks like an avocado. I do not want to see a wrinkly ball sack attached to a bigger wrinkly like, ball if, sack. Like. If he was brought into the game, I I would be like the kid given the the avocado an avocado. Thanks. I mean, Put it aside. the only problem I can see with Deadpool is that if you give him to like an unexperienced writer, he can just kind of turn out that LOL random kind of uh, character. Yeah, yeah. Plus, also just, to reply yeah. to what James said, I wouldn't really bother about Nathan being in. That would give me some fun lines to target with Chloe. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> I'd, I'd write for Nathan, but also probably not, because... Yikes. <laughs> because of canon events. Yikes. Right. I got a, I mean, I managed to get away with a hand fetishist serial killer who's killed almost 50 woman, women. I don't think you'll get away with someone who has drugged people uh, at least once. I mean, I've gotten away with Yoshikage Kira. I mean, there's there's I'll, plenty I'll of characters. More because I know James people. doesn't want to be spoiled on it. Yeah, but anyway, Spen, what's one character you don't want to see in Spinati? This this uh, this is a really weird question, honestly. Yeah, it I is. mean, I could I could give an obvious answer, just someone unattractive like Kool Aid Man or Sans or Waluigi. I mean, Waluigi's like, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back the fuck up. What did you just say about Waluigi? <laughs> I said he's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> he's also banned. He's he's okay, the well, only banned character from Spinati. Okay, well, it's it's like the whole one of the big draws of this game is that it's like a crossover game, and it's it's fun to like see new characters and like and maybe you'll like find a source, you know, source material that you you really like. That's that's happened to me already with with like Black Lagoon, for example. So it's, it's weird to like outright ban a character. Like I you could. I I can say there's there's some characters that probably have less potential than others. You know, if they if they just have like a really flat personality and, and not much depth to them, then you know it's hard to to care about them. But I'm not saying you know if they're your wife, who you can make them. Like, mm-hmm. I, I want to meet someone who has Wario as their wife. I mean, worry uh, Odin has like what twenty offline characters by now. Maybe. Um, huh, well, what's they're not off- In order to be offline, they have to like have been in the game and then got axed. They're I'm, just I'm incomplete more like characters. In his own local See, that's game. why you're Waluigi's diabolical plan. You can't ban both of them. Yeah, you can. But anyway. Well. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it kind of goes against the spirit of the game to, like, say this character's not allowed. I mean, I know, you can tell... Go, go take that to Joseph Cantel, then. Oh, I understand Waluigi. Well, no, let's I don't go, necessarily agree, but let's I understand. Go get, let's go get Waluigi <laughs> unbanned now. Let's add Joseph Canto to the call. Okay, but one character I wouldn't Someone... want to see. Um, okay. I would not want to see Joseph Joestar from Part 8. I mean, not Part 8, Part f- 4. Part 4, Joseph oh. Joestar, no thank you. Part 2, Joseph Joestar? Yes, please. Part 3, Joseph Joestar? Even more than Part 2. Part 4 is pushing it, because he's like 70. Yeah. I'll take Grizzled Grandpa... But I won't take nearly senile, dying old man. The one thing that confuses me about Jojo is why do they go from being buff to being twinks? Because the Rocky learned how to draw people who aren't muscular. Okay, but still, learn. why change them from being buff to being twinks? To be fair, like... I have a secret th- theory that Jojo just started as a Rocky really wanting to draw like super gay, attractive men, but then someone caught him. And he's like, uh, no, this is just <laughs> my, my character for this manga. This character's name is Robert E.O. Speedwagon. <laughs> yeah. He just looks around his That's office, which is plastered with rock band posters. <laughs> and he's the uh, only one. Hey. <laughs> uh, <dear. laughs> he's the only one in the room who can read English, luckily. D- Dio... Who's my favorite actor? Brando. Brando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that was a good question. I like that. Let's go to mm-hmm. um, this one I kind of find interesting. How did you get your username? So, Cody, how did you get Black Skull the Lude slash Black Cody? Where did you okay. get- That's how we should introduce every guest is how did you get your username? 
Tell that mine's, to Johan. Mine's kind of lengthy, so if everybody wants to, you know, take over first, I'm okay with it. Mine's also kind of long, but also kind of not long. Just go ahead. Uh, mine's well, is ish, but not. You goddamn people with your life stories and your and your mine's, fucking usernames. Yeah, mine's when I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I was twelve, um, I was really into wrestling, and uh, you know, I was so an edgy fuck back then. So. Uh, <laughs> I thought my own wrestler name. I was like, you know, I like the color black, and I like, you know, skulls. So I was like, you know, my name, my wrestler name is Black Skull. And, you know, it, it just kind of stuck with me over the years. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of embraced my edgy side, even though someone in the polls complained about uh, Clover Slides being edgy. I'm like, fuck, is that right, though? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, had to, I had to fix that. And uh, with the whole Black Cody thing, I had a Smite server hose on. And uh, at the time, my username was like Skull Grunt because I was, you know, they just revealed Team Skull. And I was like, holy shit, I'm on Team Skull! You know, you know, autistic streaming. Um, and it was like, you know, your username's too long. And they just renamed me Black Cody. And, you know, it just kind of stuck to me because it has my name in it. So that's how I got mine. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I refer to Black Cody as my slave name. <laughs> <laughs> James, how did you get um, Insightful Magician? Um, well, I kind of bounced between a bunch of different names since, I'd say, middle school. But I settled on this one just because um, I always kind of preferred like magic as, in narratives. Um, I always thought that it was just a very interesting uh, kind of phenomenon to throw at humanity as far as the story goes. And... Um, but um, I really liked uh, – I, I kind of found this one by going on just a random name generator for Homestuck of all things um, because I really liked their, uh, their, their formula, their setup for usernames. And um, I didn't get Insightful Magician from the generator. I got Insightful something else, but I thought that uh, Magician really uh, flowed really well with it. And, um, yeah, I guess like three syllables, three syllables, so – I kind of just uh, stuck with that, and I really liked it because it doesn't, it's not so off the wall that it would just seem like a Homestuck thing right off the bat, so. Yeah, it's actually, kinda, like. It's kind of like Homestuck camouflage. It took, like, a year and a half of us knowing each other for me to finally find out that your name was a Homestuck thing. Same with Caden. I know, and it's crazy because I, d- I even do the camel case, like, the lowercase i, uppercase yeah. m, whenever I get the chance. I know, so, but like I just yeah. didn't like I just didn't see it right away. It took until like after I did my third read through of Homestuck that I was like, "Fucking trash." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> hey, so what were you? Well, I mean, so yeah. mine's originally started when I was uh, back in the Ruby fandom where I used to role play Weasel, and this was back volume two, volume three. Uh, roughly, so this was just where Jean had started calling Weiss Ace Queen. And so I got referred to a uh, character usually as Ice Queen, so people didn't refer to me by the character name. And by after a few kind of months of calling me Ice Queen, people started just shortening it down to Ace. And so I had kind of two names at one point where I was both uh, Hide Nagachika from Tokyo Ghoul and Ace, but I mainly go by Ace now. There's very few people that still will call me Hide. Yeah. Spam, yours is what I'm interested in. Where, where does yours come from? It's it's really it's really not that weird. I thought most I people would I get it, and guess. apparently yeah, they didn't. I, I think I might. All right, I kind of get it now. It. I do kind of get can, it, but I just, I'm pretending to be interested. Is it just, is it just a combination of Spatney with Anon? Yeah, yeah, strip poker Anon, right? What do you? I, I really thought people would get that right away, and, and nobody seemed to because they keep calling me Spanny instead of like Anon. <laughs> oh yeah, because Anon just makes me think like I'm I'm on 4chan. I'm saying like, hey Anon. Well, that's well. I I found this game on 4chan. I know. So when I made yeah. a Reddit account, it's like, well, I kind of still want to be anonymous. So I I saw like you, Spinati, and I was like, well, I kind of want a name like that where it's it's very tied to the game. So mm. I just what well, Spinati? How about Spinanon? Yeah, I, that, that kind of works. Yeah, that's so fair. It's, it's like I'm anonymous all over again. Yeah. That's um, all it is. Mine there's is, no, there's uh, no, there's no tragic backstory. 
I mean, mine kind I mean, of comes from. Fair. I think wasn't wasn't Kato Shoujo made by like one of the lead writers for one of the characters was like anonymous twenty seven. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> and on this one, yeah, it was organized on 4chan. Yeah, it's great. It made things. Yeah. An- An- Anonymous does good things sometimes. Yeah, and sometimes they figure out horrible criminals, like the guy who stuck his feet in a tub of lettuce and Burger King. <laughs> sometimes they oust information of clan members on Twitter. Yeah, and sometimes they'll. Um, contemplate why everyone who goes into Costco is insane once they step in. I was involved in a thread. I started a thread about that once, where I was just like, is it, why is it, it that, it, like, it every... Insane places? It was, um, basically, why is it once everyone... Once you walk into a Costco, you go insane. You just lose all brain power, because, like, I walked into Costco to get a bunch of muffins, because I love the muffins at Costco. They have great muffins. And I left with um, the muffins and a thing of mar- of um, walnut flour. Walnut flour? I don't know what walnut flour is or why I had it. It's in oh, my tasty. cabinet, never touched, because what the fuck am I going to use it for? I mean, it's probably probably good for baking, I'd say. Yeah, probably but good like, for a cake. But I have normal flour for that. I don't need your walnut flours. But also, walnut has a little kick. Like a also, little, mm. I'm allergic to walnuts. Oh, well. You should probably get rid of that. Yeah. So, no next reason. topic on the fucking allergy podcast. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, so my username is actually comes from... I, I think James was there when I when you guys gave it to me after a bit. Because it was... Mm. um When I first met James and Dor and the group of friends we were, I was with at the time was on... um a what's called known as like a Dongan Mafia kind of group. So the whole thing of Dongan Mafia is that it's kind of like a role playing game where it's kind of like you know it's mafia but Dongan Rompa role playing as well. It's super geeky, but I don't give a shit because I'm super geeky. So I was there and I was going by Soda, one of the characters' names because that's my favorite character, and they kind of started. Um, I don't remember who, but someone mentioned, like, a memory of, like, one time there was a case where someone had written Soda's name on a wall, but it had gotten smudged, so the letters S-O-U-D-A started looking like Z-U-U-J-A. You can kind of see how that would happen. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, they I'm, started... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, could you spell that again? I think you mispronounced Z. 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 It's Z. If you say Z, Z, then the fucking alphabet song doesn't rhyme. Z's dead, baby. Z's dead. Exactly. Okay, but Fuck which off. country... I can argue this. Which country invented the language and is named after and says it correctly? F- fucking... English that the that English Z pronunciation that comes from an older it, version it, of it, English. Just because you, you, you lost your right way, we're still saying it the right way, and you it. fucking lost your way. No, fuck off. Language, why are we? Language can like you know. The language next can topic like on the. Why are we having discourse over the English language? Because <laughs> some people need to pronounce letters right. Oh. It's like already, and you need to spell the words color, honor, and a few other things correctly because you. Why are you adding fucking no useless reason. letters to words? Exactly. It doesn't this is how you see it. Color. color, color. You don't go it's color. The same vowel sound. Color. Still, Guys, spell it right, color. please. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so they just kind of started referring to me as Zuja ever since, and I just kind of was like, "Wow, I really kind of like that name." So, all right, next topic on the before, Oxford English podcast. Fuck off, Spanish. right? right. Swear right. To God you, so tell me, when you, when you, when, do you guys say this is our land or this is Erland? Because I say color. I don't know about y'all. Fuck off, James. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Local Florida man's a snide prick. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man being a prick on the internet. <laughs> of course, gotta hold up the legend. No, if you're holding up the legend, you'd like kidnap a kidnap a pilot so you can fly all of Florida to somewhere else. I don't know. 
Listen, I have some. I, I have Amazon Prime. I got some bath salts on the way. You don't know what I got planned. Okay? I have a gallon of PCP. <laughs> Man, that's some old school YouTube. Do you guys remember the that group, the whitest kids you know? Kind of like a uh, sketch no. comedy. I know Derek Comedy, but I don't know yeah. why this kid, you know. They made a bit oh, that about was the it. Abraham anyway. Lincoln. That was the Abraham Lincoln one, wasn't it? Um, I Didn't th- they do that I'm, one? I think so. I'm not now sure. You now you fucked it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think Anyways. so. I remember because they're a gallon of PCP bit, where a guy had a gallon of PCP. Oh. That was the main premise of it. Anyway, moving on from PCP, because this podcast is almost two hours long now. Oof. So yeah, that's very good. Because uh, my before I went by Suja, I used to go by Irish because I'm Irish, and it's not that thrilling. See, that backstory is not as not as thrilling as the other ones. But yeah, so now I go by Suja. Here's yeah, another I one. Want. Here's I another one. Heated and ice. Yeah, here's another one. I the first it. fictional character you ever had a crush on, Black Skull. Who is it? I did not have a cross. Raven from Teen Titans. Raven, James, who's yours? Your first um, fictional character crush. Um. Hmm. It was probably Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, nice. Yeah, Yeah, he's like one of my favorite pro tags. Ice. I fucking love the uh, smart ass snarky guys. Ice. Okay, so judge me all you want for this, but when I was younger, I used to have a crush on the ginger girl from Blue's house, or like the the one with the ghost, whose name I can't even remember now. But it was a ginger woman. I think it was Frankie. Was her name from what? I show? had a crush on her from what show? From Blue's something. I don't know. It's like Blue's. Hang on, I'll do it. Imaginary home for imaginary it. friends. Oh, I know that one. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to have a crush on her. Not bad taste. Spam. Yeah, she was cool. How about you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I grew up, like, watching a lot of, like, Western cartoons and stuff, so I recognized a lot of characters in Spinati when I first played it that were, like... Kind of like I, I remember thinking as a kid they were kind of cute. Like I, you know, Hermione Granger and like Kim Possible and stuff. Like I remember them, but I wasn't like super excited to to play them. So I don't think I don't know if they really counted as like crushes. I don't know if I ever really had that that feeling of That's like fair. oh man I'm super excited. That's fair. I don't know my if I ever was, had that uh, emotional connection. My I think first, the, I think the first first one I ever like jacked it to was Samus. <laughs> <laughs> No shame, no shame. Um, that, that, first... was like, that was like the, the brawl, like the zero suit model, where you could just pause and look at it from every angle. It was like, fucking yes. <laughs> I think my this is, first... This is my shit, so that's probably where I got the bodysuit thing from. <laughs> probably. So I guess, I guess instead of like saying a crush, let's say it's like... Um, first well, one I don't know, like um, a, a female character, let's say, that has like, you know, the proportions you like. Has a really interesting character arc. Are we going? Very good are we going to go back and but, change this to the first the, where we developed or che- where we think we develop our fetishes as the children? Because then for me, it's um, totally spies. Oh, oh god. god! Fucking totally. I, mean, Dude, I remember that Tumblr post that said that you, yeah, every you, episode you was a fetish. Like, no. Here, I can list off. Approach. I can list off the fetishes that show gave me. Furry, mm. nurses, bondage. <laughs> feet. I think, I think they yeah, didn't play feet. Things. I'm into vanilla, so. Yeah. Well, but no, my, uh, t- I, I can't I, share where I got my first kings from because it's one of the most, it's one of the games regarded as the hardest games. God. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Dark Souls. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Guys. Uh, because please. Dark Souls was magic. Characters like uh, Gwendolyn <laughs> and things like such. That was my first, like, that was one of my first games I played, and it was like, mm, I really like the look of this character, and ever since then, I've just been into very feminine looking males. Yeah, Gwendolyn is my boy. Dark Souls, anyway. Dark Souls helped me figure out I was bisexual. 
<laughs> nice. If body suits are a fetish, I guess Samus gave it to me. Yeah, body suits and are definitely a fair. fetish. Are you kidding but me? I, I, and, now, and now I've surpassed her because people say my my characters are like better versions of Samus. Yeah. yeah. Now you have to remake her. That's your next goal. Yeah. If I remade her, she'd just be Maya again. Fair. She just be it's Maya but blonde. Well, Jura's blonde. Yeah, but Jura's not Maya. Yeah. One, one, a couple of people said that, like, if you fused them together in Spinati, you would get Samus. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, um, my first crush, though, my first fictional crush was Shigo from Kim Possible. That tells nice. that says a lot about my taste nowadays, too. As you, you like, you like the bitches green. No, I like them with total intentions to murder me. Body Super suits. Super pale black lipstick. Goth really is kind of my thing. Anyway, I next kinda, question. Uh, I remember, I remember kind of liking Shigo. She did a bodysuit thing, too. Yeah. Um, if two was... astronauts fucked Moon, would that kill a rock or what? Yes. Has Spinati reached a yes. point where it's more than just a porn game to you? Cody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let me think about this one. Pass. Okay. You don't get an answer, then. Um, I don't think James... Fuck is... you! No, you said pass. Um... Hmm. I don't know. If, well, I don't think it's been able to surpass being a porn game for James yet. We haven't indicted him into Spinality. It inducted. will though soon. Can you guys hear me? It's inducted. So just... Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Hear okay. You. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Uh. I mean, no. I mean, I, I, it definitely sounds like it's like, like I said, a labor of love. Like it's something that you guys really need to be invested in, and like yeah. you know, you guys said, it's more fun to do it than it is to play it sometimes. So. Yeah. Especially you know, when it's uh, you're trying to be Daisy, and it took you three days, and everyone's gonna make fun of you for for the rest of your life. You didn't have mm. to advertise that. You clearly <laughs> wanted to, us to bully you about it. No, you guys have already been bullying me about it for the past ever. Might as well feed into the meme now. Well, you didn't have no. to fucking tell us it happened. Yo, Don't worry, no, the well, what the hell was it gonna do? Plus, Yoan was the one who told everyone because I was. Because Yona was like, how long did it take you to beat Daisy? And it was like, fucking three days. And then now, everyone knows, because Johan has a way of letting people know things. Can the next podcast be like you live streaming, trying to beat Daisy? No. <laughs> I beat her. I did it. I beat her. Can you do it again? Probably. Fox only no items. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, I think that's kind of, I think it's kind of just goes without saying that for a lot of people who create characters, it is beyond just a porn game. I mean, because you can tell, yeah. like, with the people who go in there thinking it's just a porn game, you can tell that they didn't really put that much into it. Well, I, th I think yeah. you're, I think you're really uh, selling the game short, honestly, like, if, you, if, I'm not you, saying if, you, like, if you treat it that way. Well, no, because it's not me it's thinking not... like, no, that's not what I mean at all. I mean, it's more like... Because with any with playing it, if you go in and play it as a porn game, it's wonderful. It does its job. It makes the pee pee a big a big pee pee. But like, yeah, um, it's more behind well, the yeah. scenes, really. Like, Here, here's the thing: like, if you wanted, if you we have like minimum line count. Like, we really stress dialogue as like a requirement to make it in the game. Like, the whole the whole point of this game and the original Poker Night at the inventory was that it's like a crossover between characters and half the fun is watching them talk to each other. So if like, it's always been both strip poker and at the inventory, like it's supposed to be both of those. Like yeah. it's, 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 it's supposed to be the kind of game that you can enjoy sexually appealing. And obviously you want to make a character that's sexually appealing, but the other half of the fun is that, you know, even if you're not jacking it to it, you can still get some enjoyment out of the banter. Yeah, and and seeing these characters interact, and that's why we stress that like the characters are captured really well, and they have like they're actually they actually feel in character because it's is you know it's Poker Night at the Inventory. It's like the original Poker Night at the Inventory. That's half the fun. Yeah, I agree. So if you're if you're treating it like just like a porn game, I think you're I think you're not really giving yourself the full experience there because it's fun to like, read what the characters have to say to each other. There's a lot of funny banter. There is. Yeah, it does, it so does it's, uh, it's, sound like half of it's missing. 
I mean, it's not like it's bad to like make a character horny or or like enjoy it for that reason. That, yeah, that's the other half. It's both. You can enjoy it for both. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it, it even goes beyond uh, just being horny. It's just like uh, just fleshed out writing. Like you can be like super duper sexual and still like have a lot to say. You can yeah, say you want to like a million different you, you ways. Can, you can you can be sexual and still feel like a real person. Yeah, yeah. I think, it's that, I, think be like... that, uh, and I think that Zuja is right on something in that uh, they are going into it for self satisfaction, which is kind of I think where it goes wrong because it kind of shows up in that way a lot with fan fiction. Um, you know, uh, shamelessly, I go through a lot of explicit fan fiction tags, and whenever I had like always the cannon fodder, just seems like every paragraph is one line. The dialogue is super basic. It just wants to. It's almost like the writer just wanted to get to the get to the cut of the chase already. Yeah. Everything else is just like build up, and I feel like when you go into the like creating a character with that mindset, it kind of, you know, it's such a longer goal that you know it kind of it's easier to peter out. You know what like, I mean? Yeah. Like if you if you start making a character and you're only interested in seeing them naked and not what they have to say or like capturing their voice, it's going to be boring. You're not going to have any fun making them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's de- they're definitely not going to get, like, as popular as they could be. Like, imagine if... Imagine if Chiaki was just titty bait. Oh, like, Jesus. I would not have enjoyed it at all. I would not have... Yeah, people already slander as a generic waifu enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like... Yeah, like, when I first submitted Maya, I had, like, written a bunch of generic lines. And I was like, okay, well, this is a fun project, but I'm probably just going to drop this. And then I started writing targeted lines and having to interface with all these other characters. And I was like, this is really fun. Yeah. And that's what really hooked me and, and, kept, and got me to stay. Yeah. And that's another thing I guess I kind of thought of is that when you start making targeted lines, at least for me personally, um, let's say, let's use Celestia as the example. Um, if I really wanted to make her fleshed out, um, I would want to like get her to talk to as many characters as possible, which I guess in a sense... My kind of, if I see someone that I'm not familiar with, but is from something that I kind of thought about watching, then maybe, you know, getting to know that character would be the inspiration to kind of be like, oh, maybe I'll check that out. Yeah, you that's know, a good way to think about like, it. Be a chance to broaden. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not so, it will, will definitely be, but, you know. I mean, to answer I know. the question, I think, I think it's a really bad attitude to say that it was ever just a porn game. Like, if that was the point, there wouldn't be any dialogue. It would just be images of them getting naked. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's it's just kind of... Yeah, it's in the run of things. It's an anime titty game, but it's an anime titty game with a lot of heart, a lot of put into it. And if you... I mean, if you... Yeah. If you don't, like... If you like, play the original Poker Night at the inventory, the whole point was to watch them talk. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you took away the strip part of Spinati, then, and just looked at the characters talking to each other and playing poker, like, you can tell which ones were the ones that were made really well, and which ones were the ones that were made just for titty bait. Fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Pretty clear. Next question. Will Spinati get bigger than the Beatles? Of course. Yeah. I don't know. That's bigger than Jesus. Will Spinetti get bigger but, than Jesus? But what is a god to a non-believer? Spinetti. Uh, Fair. Now, Re- I think Trevi Re- doesn't believe in God. I believe in well, God. Well, neither do I. I believe even, in God, even, and even, I met even him when she's, mouse. Even, even when she's playing a game with Paulatina, she still doesn't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. She's going to gonna march right up to her and be like, Bitch, you fucking ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck were you <laughs> when I was growing up? <laughs> like, that's great. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Instead of giving me food on the table, you'd rather play strip poker. <laughs> fuck you. I want, I want Remy to just come up and shoot Palutena in the face. <laughs> just fuck you. Yeah, this is probably all just fun. like flick her cigarette butt on her. Yeah. But anyway, finally, last question. This one's probably the most important one. Black Cody, do you know who Batman is? It's obviously H of Batman symbol. True. James, who's Batman? Um, we lost him. Clark Kent. Clark Kent? Ice, who's Batman? Oh, dude, that's what I thought. 
Yeah, but Batman. no, I'm Batman. Oh shit, it's ice. Okay, we solved that question. All I know for sure is that can't be that Bruce Lee guy. You know, Bruce Lee or Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Lee. It can't be Bruce Lee or Bruce Wayne. Wait, Wayne uh, Brady. Has, has anyone noticed when you know when Batman shows up, Bruce is mysteriously away? Oh well, yeah, because Bruce is busy being rich. Yeah, you're no, right, you're right, right though. Uh, Clark yeah, Kent, an idiot. There's a million fucking people that aren't around when Batman is. Okay, we don't all live in the same place. Yeah, I'm not around. Have Have I ever been in the same room as Batman? No. What kind of fucking stupid question is that? God. But you know what? I I don't. Th- I I think. I think the real Batman were the friends we made along the way. But, Did you guys ever see that image that was like uh, the D and D alignment chart, but it was Batman? No, I have not. But it was like different incarnations Batman of Batman. In every Wait, the entire D and D game is Batman. <laughs> Batman well, no, is... it's like the, the 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 fucked up thing about comic book characters is that they switch writers so fucking much that the characters can tend to change completely. And Batman is, like, the biggest victim of that. So, like, you'll get, like, the, oh, he's in, almost as, in, as insane as the villains he's fighting Batman, or the edgy Batman, or the campy 460s Batman. Didn't there? So you'll have, like, bat, bat chaotic nipples. Batman, lawful Batman. It's 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 a great image. I need to wasn't find there, it. Um, it wasn't, like, in, like, the very first movies, he'd go around literally shooting guys and, like, blowing up bases and stuff with missiles. Wait, is Batman? Isn't, there, isn't that weren't the first Batman movies from like the forties? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes oh, really? you just can't get rid of them all. Yeah, he just, he whatever I hear about Batman movies, the first one is the the Tim Burton one. Oh God, Bat nipples! No, there was one from the sixties. No, that's that's Joel Schumacher. That's, that's oh. Batman uh, Forever. Wait, what? Get Are your you fucking sure? Batman yeah, movies straight. There's too yeah, many Batman. Batman. The Batman movie lore. There's too that many Batman. Nicholson. As Joker, guys, guys, I think I think George Clooney is Batman. Oh God, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, um, does anyone else have any other questions they want to ask each other? Am I Batman? Are you Batman? Are you Batman? Yes. yes. I think Span on is Batman. Batman for Spinetti when? Um, I don't know. I mean, oh, Captain wow, Falcon already has the bat nipples. Well, let's just get rid of Captain Falcon. No one will miss him. Clover will. Why would, will. Why would Clover miss Bat? Freaking Captain Falcon. Guys, Falcon Punch. <laughs> so. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank. I want to thank everyone for coming on the podcast. I want to thank Spanon for being here all the time. He's the truest old school member of the podcast. It's my only to, chance to talk to real people. Yeah, <laughs> I want to thank um, I want to thank Ice, Cody, and James all for coming on here with me. Mm-hmm. No problem. It was a pleasure having you Thanks guys. Having me. I want to thank Johan for having to drive to California so I could um, have a reason to come on here again. Yeah, you're a better host <laughs> than he is. Hey, I know how to. Ooh. I know how to. I at least know how to record it, right? Well, I guess Shots we'll find out when this episode goes up. I mean, <laughs> you know how, well, I mean, I've been recording better, it the same way ever since. Fucking recording. It's like two hours long. Yeah, no, it is. It's um exactly two hours, two minutes, two hours, three minutes now. Well, this is far and away the longest one. Yeah. Makes sense because I mean, there's five people. Probably yeah. because of all the tangents, too. And to be fair, I, I we went on a lot of tangents. <laughs> but that's kind of the reason, you know, this is like a, this is like a reunion episode for me, you know? It's been a while well, since I've hosted you're that episode. You're reuniting with the one guy that you were on a podcast with. Yeah. I mean, the other guy left forever, and we Where don't talk about him. People? We don't talk about the other guy. Rip. Yeah. But also, it's like, you know, there's also there's a lot of my personal friends here. James, who I've known for, like, two years. Ice, who I've known for, like, two and a half, three years. Cody, who I've known for at least a month. You know? <laughs> and then there's me. Yeah. Cody, you're great too, though, because you made Clover, and I'm playing um, Zero Escape, so you know. Oh, don't get any started on Zero. Uh, VLR's Clover. That's, that's a discussion for another day. I didn't even know she was in VLR until right now. But anyway. Um, Not really a spoiler, but alright. It's okay. 
I didn't say it was a spoiler. I just didn't know that she was in it. Anyway, um, and I want to thank all of you at home for watching this. I'm Zuja. I'm Spanana. I'm Ace. I'm Jane. And I'm Heart. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm Heart. Anyway, thank you and happy fapping. Bye.